In a Word document, the endnotes are used to indicate the source of the citations and are generally located at the end of the document. We often need to illustrate the source of citations when writing a paper involving references. At this time, we can insert endnotes. How should we do it? Locate the cursor before the text whose source should be indicated. Click the References and Insert EndNote buttons to jump to the end of the document. Then, you can input the content under EndNote Separator. Double-click the number before the endnotes to jump to the associated text automatically. At this time, an EndNote superscript with the same number will appear in the text, which is called a reference superscript. To delete the wrongly added endnotes, we can select the reference superscript inserted in the text and press the delete key to delete the contents of endnotes at the same time. You can also modify the endnote formatting if the existing one is not appropriate. Click References, Setting, and Footnote EndNote buttons to pop up the dialog. At the location area, we can change the position where the endnotes are inserted. Select End of Section to add the endnotes to the bottom of the current section. Select End of Document to add the endnotes to the bottom of the whole document. In addition to modifying the position of endnotes, we can also set the endnote format as needed. In the Number Format drop-down button, we can choose the number format of the endnotes. If the default number style cannot fulfill your needs, click Symbol to customize the desired number style. At the Start At area, you can set the starting number value for the endnote, which is generally 1 by default. You can also change the numbering method of the endnotes. The system defaults to the consecutive numbering in the order of insertion. If you want to renumber the endnotes of different sections, you can select the Restart Each Section button and click the Apply button to end the operation. What a practical function! Did you get it?